Hello and welcome back once again to Product Placement. So it's that time of year again. Lays is out with more do us a flavor things or whatever they call them now. Passports to flavor or whatever. So of course I went and got them so we can try them. We got three of them this year. The first one is Kettle Cook Everything Bagel. The second one is Regular Crispy Taco. And the third and final one, which is my favorite, in case you can't tell I'm being sarcastic, is wavy fried green tomatoes. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes. I'm not really a huge fan of fried green tomatoes either. Uh, but we'll try them and see what we think. So where should we start? I guess we'll start with the Kettle Cooked Everything Bagel because I'm not a fan of the Kettle Cooked as I've said before so these will probably be the ones I like the least. Even though I'm cool with bagels. I don't know exactly what an everything bagel is. So yeah, I guess I'll try it and find out. Um, I did get the smaller bags. I had to go to Walgreens as usual to get these because the grocery store only had the huge bags that are half filled with air. And they were about twice as much as what I paid for these. And not knowing if I'm going to like something or not, I don't like buying the big bag. Plus these were like two for whatever, so I only paid like full amount for the third bag. So let's pop open the everything bagels and see what we think. Let's give it the old smell test first. It smells like a normal potato chip. So here's one. Let's try it. See what we think. Cheers. Mm. It's not bad. I don't really know where they're getting the bagel from. It kind of just tastes like a sour cream and onion kettle cooked potato chip. Not horrible. I saw a commercial the other day where they were like, oh my god, it tastes exactly like an everything bagel. And I was like, okay. But now, biting into these, I'm like, it just kind of tastes like sour cream and onion. It says everything bagel with cream cheese flavored. If sour cream is supposed to be cream cheese, I don't really get it. Let's try another one. There is some other spice in there that I'm getting that does kind of give it a bagel-y flavor. And not really a bagel flavor, but uh, like the little uh, seed bits that are on top of a bagel sometimes. Not a plain bagel, but the, I guess, everything bagel. It has a little bit of that kind of spice to it where you can kind of get the idea that it sort of tastes like a bagel, but it doesn't have the breadiness of the bagel, if that makes sense. Overall, it just kind of tastes like I said a kettle cooked sour cream and onion potato chip. So not bad. Uh, not really much to it. There's something tingling in the back of my throat, so I think it might just have a little bit of like black pepper to it as well. Uh, not that black pepper usually makes the back of my throat tingle, but there's something, some type of spice in there that's showing up, but it's real mild, so not much more than like a black pepper. Other than that, nothing much I'll say about the kettle cooked everything bagel. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? All right, so next up, I guess we'll go with the crispy taco. This is the one I figured I would probably like the most because I like taco flavored chips like Doritos and things like that. Which aren't really taco flavored, they're like cheesy tortilla. And these ones actually show like a full blown like meaty lettuce and tomato taco. If you can get all those flavors in there, because again that commercial I saw the other day said, oh you can really taste the lettuce and tomato. If I can actually taste lettuce and tomato in here that would be hilarious. But at the same time, I have a feeling that I'm not going to have much of a reaction to these which is why I'm saving the fried green tomato one for last. But usually in my case, that means this will be the one I hate the most. So let's open it up and find out what we think. We got our bag open. Let's give it the old smell test. It smells like really bad taco seasoning. Like when you buy those packets of taco seasoning to put in the meat that you're browning up. I don't want to say it smells like a generic one because some of the generic ones are actually really good. It just smells like a really bad one. Like somebody tried to make their own taco seasoning at home by mixing together different spices and just like overly did it with the cayenne pepper or something. So let's give these a shot and see what we think. Cheers. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know how they did it. <laughs> I don't know how, <laughs> but you can actually taste lettuce. It's not good lettuce. It's like lettuce that's been out too long in the heat without being refrigerated and it's like browning and getting soft and mushy. But there is definitely a hint of lettuce in the flavor. Not getting much in the way of tomato. Definitely getting some seasoning, some taco flavoring. Little bit of meatiness, not really. Let me try one more because the flavor kind of faded fast while I was thinking about the lettuce. One more time. Yeah, that one I get a little bit more of the meatiness of the taco, like the taco meat that would be in it. A little bit of cheesiness, but it has like a spicy type of cheese, or maybe that's just more of the taco seasoning. Or actually, that could be like a, it almost sort of tastes like a mild sauce, like an Ortega or something. Kind of has that flavor over top of like a meatiness. That's interesting. How the hell do they do that? I didn't get the lettuce out of that one, though. That was more meat. Let's try another one. That one was a pretty good blend. Um, I got a little bit of the lettuce when I first started to chew it. Then I went to like real meaty, uh, a little bit of cheesy, a little bit of zing. Interesting. I'm not getting tomato out of it at all. Like the commercial said, oh, you can really taste the lettuce and tomato. I'm not getting that. Uh, this taco on the cover shows like a sour cream. I'm not getting that. But yeah, that's... Oddly interesting of how they were able to get that many flavors into a chip. All right, um, not much else to say about that one. All right, let's set that aside and we'll go on to the next one. All right, so the last one up, again, wavy fried green tomatoes. As I said, I'm not really a huge fan of tomatoes in general. Um, I've kind of warmed up to them more as I've gotten older. I used to like them when I was a kid. My dad used to get these really ripe tomatoes from some farmer's market or something. He used to slice them up into little slices and put salt on them and eat them like that. And I used to love those. And then at one point I tried to do that with just like a regular store-bought tomato and it was like really mushy and nasty. And it just didn't taste the same and I kind of lost love of tomatoes. Plus my mom used to put way too much tomatoes and everything. Like if she was making spaghetti, she'd dump like three jars of tomatoes in it. And it's like, that's way too much tomato. So it's like you're eating a bowl of what's supposed to be pasta or you know, some meat dish or something, and it's like, oh, all tomatoes. Uh, all tomatoes. So all you're eating is constant tomatoes, which I already was falling out of love with. So then I just got to a point where I didn't eat tomatoes on anything. Like, if I'd get a hamburger, I'd always pull the tomatoes off. Just didn't really like them. Not too long ago when I was up visiting with my father, he had gotten some green tomatoes from somewhere, I don't remember where, and brought them home, and his girlfriend tried to make fried green tomatoes out of them. His girlfriend, unfortunately, not the best cook in the world, just kind of like tossed them in flour and threw them in a pan of oil, and that's not at all what those look like. Those looks like they were properly breaded and deep fried. And she asked me if I liked fried green tomatoes, and I said, not really. And my dad, of course, thinking he knew everything about my life, he's like, of course you like them. Your aunt used to make them all the time, and you, I know you ate those. I'm like, if they were tomatoes, probably not. Because if you knew anything about my life, you know I haven't liked tomatoes since I was a young kid. So even if she did make them, I probably wouldn't have ate them. But to be nice, I was like, well, whatever, I'll try one. And they weren't great, but they weren't horrible. They just had like a weird flavor to me. So I kind of shied away from them after that. Like I'd have one or two whenever she made them just to be nice. But beyond that, I just had no interest in them. Like I said, more recently, I've kind of warmed up to tomatoes. I've started putting like diced tomatoes in things. And the other day I got a grilled chicken sandwich from a deli and it had a sliced tomato on it. And it was actually a nice ripe piece of sliced tomato and it wasn't real thick, wasn't real thin. And I was like, you know, screw it. I'm, I can't be bothered to pull this all apart to take it off. So I just, ate it and honestly didn't even notice it. It actually emphasized the flavor of the chicken a little bit. So I'm kind of warming back up to them slowly over the years, maybe as I've gotten older. But like I said, my last experience with fried green tomatoes wasn't really a fan. That was the whole point of that story. So probably not going to like these, but we'll see if these taste better than the last time I had them. So let's pop these open and hit it with the old smell test.
This smells like normal potato chips. It doesn't really have much scent to it at all. So these are the wavy ones. Yeah, it just smells like a normal Ruffles potato chip, except these are Lay's. Ha. <laughs> um, so yeah, it smells like a normal Lay's potato chip. Let's see if it tastes like a fried green tomato. Cheers. It's got a little bit of a flavor to it, but I don't know if I would necessarily identify that as a tomato. I kind of see what they're going for, but yeah, not really. This one definitely has some spice to it too, which could be in whatever they use to bread it. They probably have some type of seasoning and professionally done ones versus the ones my dad's girlfriend made. But yeah, don't know if I'd really identify that flavor as tomato. It's a similar flavor to part of what's in the taco, the crispy taco ones, like that zinginess that I said was kind of like Ortega or something. I'm getting a lot of that. I'm getting a lot of spice, and I'm getting that made tomato-based sauce type thing, like Ortega sort of, I believe. But I'm not really getting tomato or even green tomato from the handful of times I've tasted one. They're not bad, though. They're a little spicy, but... Not like burning my mouth spicy, it's just like there's a prickle in the back of my throat. There is a bit of a creaminess to them as well. Honestly, it kind of tastes like a chipotle. Like if you had like a chipotle ranch or a chipotle mayo type of sauce. That's more what I'm tasting, which I don't know if that's what that's supposed to be, the little dressing that's on there. But yeah, it just kind of tastes like a ranch sauce with a little bit of like chipotle in it. Maybe similar to like a southwest sauce or something like that. But I'm getting more of that than I am tomato. So yeah, they're not bad. A little bit of a spice to them. But overall, not horrible. Not what I was expecting. So how would I rank the three of them? Probably, I would say, as far as interesting flavor, let's go off that. The kettle cooked everything bagel, like I said, just kind of tastes like a sour cream and onion potato chip, except it's kettle cooked. So not a whole lot going on there. Then I would probably go with the fried green tomato, because like I said, it's a nice zesty chip. So it has a little bit going on for it there, but it's not anything overly dramatic. This could just easily be like a zesty Memphis barbecue chip, and you probably wouldn't be able to tell much of the difference. I mean, it's not barbecue flavored, but there's not a whole lot of difference between like a barbecue potato chip and a Memphis style or a zesty barbecue potato chip other than the zip. So it has a flavor to it, but not like really mind-blowing of a flavor. That, I think, would have to go to... The crispy taco. These were nothing like I thought they were going to be. I thought they would just be like regular type of Dorito kind of flavor. But there are so many intricate details in this flavor. Like I said, I thought the guy on the commercial was being stupid when he said you could taste the lettuce and tomato. Until I put the first chip in my mouth and I actually tasted lettuce. It has that beefy flavor like if you're actually eating a taco. It has a zing to it like a taco sauce. It has a bit of a cheesiness to it. It has just so many things going on in it that you can't really help but enjoy it. So I'd say as far as like unique flavors, there's more going on in this one than the other two. So this is my number one choice. Uh, wavy fried green tomatoes, probably second. Kettle cooked, everything bagel, third, but a close third. I think the only thing that really kills this for me is sour cream and onions is a pretty standard flavor, and I'm not a huge fan of the kettle cooked chips. But other than that, it's totally edible. I'll finish this bag. There's nothing wrong with it. But as far as, like, being unique with flavor, Crispy Taco wins out over the other two easily. And, obviously, Fried Green Tomatoes wins out over a flavor we already have. Because it's slightly different. So there you have it. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Links are down in the description. Click the bell there in the corner. Make sure you're getting notifications every time I post new content. Leave a comment below. Let me know which one was your favorite. Thanks for watching, and until next time, cheers.